All right, how are we doing, folks? Hope you're well. So, uh, just a short video, he says. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is perfect. There you go, you've got one full minute, over one full minute of me lighting my pipe. <laughs> and what am I smoking in it? I'm smoking my tobacco at the moment, which I'm going absolutely crazy for at the moment, which is Jermaine's Medium Flake. This is a 500 gram load I bought a couple of years ago. It's got a couple of years age on it now. Um, and I don't tend to smoke very much these days. Um, since I gave up cigarettes, I'll smoke maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple of pipes in a week, two, three pipes in a week, something like that. Not a, not a big smoker, um, which, is, which is great. It's exactly as I want it to be, because it means when I do smoke, I'm actually really enjoying it rather than, rather than just sort of doing it by habit or having it constantly hanging out my mouth, trying to you know, trying to enjoy, you can't enjoy it when it's like that. You've got to sit down and take time to enjoy it, for me anyway. Um, and it's better for my health too, so. But, um, as a result, I don't get through a hell of a lot of tobacco, which is great. Which is significantly better than it used to be when I was smoking cigarettes. That's not to say I'm not buying lots of tobacco. Well, mm -mm. but oh my goodness, Jermaine's, Jermaine's just make, just make the most sublime tobaccos you can ever imagine. Um, I mean, I've got some esoterica penzance uh, but in my opinion it's just not a scratch not a scratch on the special latakia flake which um, i guess is the uk equivalent i'm not really sure what the difference is i'm not a connoisseur um but uh yeah i mean they're, they're different animals and special latakia flake is just a completely different thing this medium flake though oh i tell you Mm. A couple of years ago, when I bought that 500 gram pack, <coughs> I was concerned that uh, that it would lose that beautiful sort of citrus note that Medium Flake has. It's a pure Virginia, straight Virginia, um, as far as I'm aware. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Blimey. <clears throat> and uh, I can hear a dog coming. He's going to want to go outside now. I know it. Wait for a little wine. No, he's having a drink. Yeah, so um, I was a bit concerned that it would lose that citrus note. But uh, over the last couple of years of it being in this jar, um, it's, it has developed. So I wouldn't say it's lost it, but it's developed into something else. Um, there's something else here, not just the citrus, but yeah, I mean, the citrus is still there, but there's also a fruitiness, like a sweet, plummy, um, stewed fruit 
kind of smell to it that, that comes with age. Oh my God, it's just sublime. It's just amazing. And on that note, actually, I've got another, I've got another here. Um, this, uh, oh, this, this one, the Rich Dark Flake, uh, which I believe is um, similar to the, oh, you guys will tell me, um, the Terragub blend, blend, which is kind of similar. Oh, again, just beautiful stewed fruit. I mean, I stuck this one under the nose of my girlfriend some time ago, and she was amazed at how, how good it smelled. Mm. There is something about Germains that just make the most spectacular, spectacular quality tobacco. And even though I've got loads of this stuff left, and this really is my, my sort of desert island tobacco. If I'm going to get trapped on a desert island, that's the one I want to have with me. So much so that I actually managed to procure just today another pack, another 500 gram pack. So that's getting shrink wrapped and saved for a rainy day. Uh, but yeah, very, very difficult to come by. And the reason Other than the fact that Jermaine's fairly small batch stuff, you know, compared to, to other manufacturers, is um, certainly in the UK, the, I'm not sure I should say this, uh, but <laughs> certainly in the UK, the tobacconists aren't, they aren't even putting it on the website. Um, I've spoken to a few of them. Um, they're not even putting it on the websites because as soon as they do, um, Chinese bots um, are sniping um, and just it's selling out immediately. Well, I have to hand it to the likes of GQ Tobaccos and mysmokingshop.com.co.uk. Um, for doing that because if it were not for the fact that they, they were doing that we wouldn't get any of it um you know that's it's sort of chip, typical sort of the typical capitalism um of china is, is buy up everything um everything's a commodity um whereas the tobacconists here seem to have an ethos which is um, no, actually, we'll we'll make sure we keep enough for for people to be able to buy it and enjoy it, rather than it just getting sort of traded like, um, you know, like stocks and shares, like commodity. So fair play to uh, yeah, fair play to you guys in the tobacco um, retailing business who are doing that. Hmm. So, although the stuff's still very hard to get hold of by virtue of scarcity and the laws of supply and demand, um, you can get it if you ask around. So you just have to, you have to be careful who you ask and you have to ask at the right time. Anyway, um, this is supposed to be a short video. Um, and I've overpacked this pipe because I'm too busy waffling to you folks. Uh, so I'm going to have to loosen it up a little bit. And there's the whinge from the dog who tells, tells me he wants to go out. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that little interruption. Yeah. So what I actually wanted to talk about real brief was, um, uh, this pipe. This is a Blakemar aristocrat, rusticated Canadian. And it was given to me by my good friend Ed Simpkins. Um, you may know him on Instagram as Simpkins the Saddler. He's a leather worker, does some sterling, excellent, excellent leather work. Really good stuff. He makes um, a lot of these pipe rests. 
and trays and the belt that I'm wearing. But yeah, so he sent it to me a couple of years ago. Before, I didn't have any, any Canadians at all at the time. This was the first Canadian I ever got. Um, hmm. And I hardly smoked it at all because I wasn't very much into rusticated pipes. I really preferred the sort of smooth grain briars, that sort of thing. So it sat for, you know, a couple of years in a, I have a box of pipes. I don't know, I'd smoke it from time to time. Mm. Well, it wasn't, it was something I'd sort of come to and think, oh, well, I'll just give that a go. I haven't, I haven't smoked that for a long time. And I have to say, I was missing out. Um, it's it's funny how tastes and preferences for things change. The preferences for a particular aesthetic uh, can change over a period of time. And this pipe is now my go-to daily pipe. I absolutely flipping love it. I love it. It smokes like all Blake Marbriars smokes absolutely brilliantly. It's got a really nice big bowl, so you can get a good bit of tobacco in there. It works, in my opinion at least, particularly, particularly well with Virginias um, and Medium Flake, being my Virginia of choice right now. That's what's going into it on a pretty much, well I say daily, pretty much whenever I reach for my pipe. This is the pipe I'm reaching for, and medium flake is what I'm reaching for. So, yeah. Um, thank you, Ed, for that. I mean, really. Um, I mean, I, I should have thanked you. Maybe I did. <laughs> Five or so years ago when it was that you gave me this, sent me this in the first place. But um, it is getting a lot of use, and it is very much a loved pipe. So thanks for that, mate. If you see this video, I don't even know whether or not you watch these videos. We kind of uh, communicate on Facebook and um, Instagram from time to time, but that's it. Mm. So, yeah, that's it, really. Little ramble about Jermaine's tobaccos and an absolutely stunning, cracking little pipe. Love it. Ah, it's a really good pipe to drive with as well, actually, because because uh, it's got such a nice big bowl on it. Um, yeah. Doing a lot of driving for work at the moment, so I can be, you know, five hours on the road. Um, and if I want to smoke while I'm doing it, pretty much it's this or my Peterson, one of my Petersons that I go with. More often this because it's a lot more comfortable in the mouth. So yeah, uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, this will be the last video from my uh, from this office because I'm moving house tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, some new videos from my new house, which is flipping stunning. Uh, it's a little barn conversion on a south-facing hill in the middle of the country. And uh, it's, it's absolutely lovely. So, yeah, I'll be moving there from tomorrow. Anyway, folks, you take care. It's been 15 minutes. 15 minutes of absolute bollocks from me. Um, I'll see you all around again soon. Have a good one. Take it easy. Um, yeah. Catch you later.